that's a bit low. We are back in warehouse gym. It is day seven of the new training program. I'm not gonna be able to keep track of these days after a while, but so be it. Today we're gonna be doing safety squat bar, yoke, and then some volume log. Don't have a lot of time today, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started on the safety squat bar. We're working up to sets of five, paused at 155 kilos. So the jump is gonna be 30, which is the bar, 80, 125, and then 155. So here we go. We are on working sets now, 155 kilos, just four sets here. I'll show the first set now and the last set um, will come later on. So let's see how the first set feels. Um, I'll give my thoughts about it now. First set is not bad. Um, kind of expected it. Need to do a little bit more work for my left knee. Left knee is still bothering me so I'm gonna roll out really quick over there and I'll show you how I do that. It sucks, it hurts, but man, it feels good. Reason why I prefer it over a traditional roller, one, I can put more weight on my hamstrings. I'm literally sitting my whole body weight on it. Instead of possibly having my feet on the floor, my hands on the floor, or my heels on the floor to like balance myself, I can put all my weight on my hamstrings. Also, I'm using an axle bar. I feel like the axle bar is just wide enough to give enough pressure, but it's not as much pressure as like just a regular barbell. A regular barbell is kind of thin for me. So I, f I find I like the axle bar. I set it up to just kind of under where I would sit down sit back on it and just kind of let my legs hang in the air and roll all my hamstrings and my glutes out. Feels really good and um, usually tight hamstrings is the cause for my knee pain. Let's jump right on to the second set. Legs felt way better that set. And now on to my last set. I've been doing the um, little bit of rolling on my hamstring in between each set, just to keep it nice and warm, nice and loose. So now we're on to the last set. Everything's been moving well. SSBs, thank God. Now we're on to yoke. Uh, for yoke, I have planned 290 kilos. That's just under uh, 640 pounds, I think. So what we're gonna do is warm up um, with um, whatever. <laughs> You'll see it on the screen. start seems basic but you'd be surprised how many people like get loose shoes during a run the internet is my training partner we're on the first set of working weight. Got my belt on, and here we go. As much as I love that Elioff shirt, 
the material isn't actually sticking very well in terms of with chalk on the yoke so on that last working set although it was fast you could see my elbow was kind of flapping a little bit it was because I was trying to make sure that the bar uh, stayed on my shelf on my shoulder so what Mark recommended is um, I go shirtless and I chalk my shoulders to the bar um, this will take some skin off probably but it's the most secure way to um, get locked into the bar so I'm gonna do that for my next set and uh, yeah after that it'll just be one last set I will film just a few quick runs overall it's feeling really good way more stable than I thought it was gonna be um, but I think it's just all the additional core work that I've been doing uh, that's been really helping. So let's get the rest of the work done. I don't like it. say it's a shirt slightly frustrating I even went to the car to see if um, I had a different shirt that I could throw on I don't like I told Mark it's just, at this point I'm just bitching because I'm frustrated that like I didn't think about this ahead of time and now I'm scrambling for a solution well I did the first set with a soggy shirt so I'm just gonna go again and make sure that I brace hard and make it stay One thing about strongman you learn is sometimes you just suck it up and do it. Bad forward planning, whatever, mistakes, shit. It always happens, training or competing. But the key is, is when it's time to get work done, stop bitching and stop making excuses and just get to it. Woo! Today is just rapid fire, go, go, go. warm up set here and then that leaves me like I don't know 15 minutes I'm probably gonna have to skip my accessories of uh, leg press and leg extensions today just cuz I got somewhere to be so this three sets the log and I'm done here come the working sets of log for today three sets of seven reps 87 and a half kilos this is just two and a half kilos up from last time nothing major but it's two and a half kilos over seven reps so i imagine this might be decently hard getting fat all right so last set of basically the day um, I'm gonna get it done it's been a busy 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 day where it's been go 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 but a lot of work got done and uh, I'm about to wrap it up right here so last set of seven let's get it done
all done for today. Just to wrap things up, it was the safety squat bar, yoke, and log. Coming up is a day rest, and then we'll see you on this video yet again with heavy log press. It's gonna be log, back to back with log, and more log. To be honest, I'm pressing, I'm log pressing three out of four days, so that's to be expected. Anyways, see you in a day and a half. So, this is the last day of week two of training. That means we're gonna be doing heavy log press, heavy log press, and sandbags for max distance. My favorite thing ever. Feeling pretty stiff today. Um, had a busy night last night, so uh, didn't really get a chance to roll out or anything. So I'm gonna take an extra long warm up today. Um, lots of bands to activate, and uh, also lo a little bit of soft tissue uh, while we get there. What the plan is today? Three sets of two at 102 and a half kilos on the log, and then the 100 kilo sandbag for a bunch of reps, and then some competition bench. A few other accessories thrown in there afterwards, but um, basically the main focus is going to be log and sandbag. All right. <clears throat> So after a little bit of band activation, my shoulders and everything is feeling a little bit better. As per normal, we're gonna start work on the light log and then move slowly up uh, to the heavier weight. Why I do this, um, a lot of people argue like it's better to save your energy, take smaller warm-up jumps, but I actually warm up by uh, 10 kilo increments. So I'll do 32 kilos, 42 kilos, 52, 62, 72, um, 85, then I'll probably go 95 and then 102.5. So I'm taking a whole bunch of sets before. And the reason being is I want to make sure I keep that explosiveness throughout my entire uh, warm-up set and then into my working sets as well. Uh, it really primes my body and my cues to be able to drive and to punch up top. It actually benefits me in the long run because my body gets a little bit more warm as well. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more energy. It's a little bit more volume. I might be a little bit more tired when I do get to my working sets But I find that it works better for me. Some people do it on their bench as well Other people do it on their squat or their deadlift for me overhead press is especially important for that So we're gonna start with the empty log and go up from here It looks like it's gonna be a solo session today a lot of the guys are or a few of the guys are gonna be competing tomorrow in a log and deadlift championship so a lot of them are taking the day off today any case, let's get going. Realized it after I cleaned it. Might be helpful to take sunglasses off. Big log time. So the plan for uh, the big log is gonna be uh, threes at 85. Then we'll do two at 95. Then we'll do three sets of two at 102.5. Boys and girls, we made it. We're at working sets. Now three sets of doubles here. The last set felt all right, but it was kind of slow. But this is gonna happen, we'll squeeze it out. Oh 
All right, just two more sets of those. Uh, that first one was a little bit heavy. Felt heavy, but it kept moving, so I'm all right. The second one, I noticed my feet were actually narrower and uh, it gave me a little bit more pop. So I'm gonna try and adjust my feet slightly after the clean, make it slightly narrower. See if that makes a difference at all. Uh, but good power on the second one. Um, everything is moving well. I think I'll be fine for two more sets. I'm just bitching. Vlog. Dude, that last set was so good. I was tempted to do another rep, but I was like, no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it, Ben. Don't do it. We're on to sandbags. Um, basically, we're gonna pick up the 80 kilo bag, run around a little bit. Then we're gonna go straight into the 100 kilo max distance. Not waste any time with that. My plan with the max distance. Good? What? Do you mind being on camera? No? No, yes. All right, cool. All right, I got Juwad with me today. We, the government's a lie, what? Sorry. We are gonna be suffering together with sandbags. He, he wasn't with me last week, but what we're doing, dude, is we're picking up the 100 kilo sandbag, okay. and we're walking it as far as possible until we basically pass out. And we're doing it for three sets. Okay, cool. okay, let's do it. Yeah. I'm down. So my goal is we did five laps the last time. Five laps? Five laps. But, like? like around the front. Okay. Oh, around the front's easier. I. I I did this in the last video. Oh, yeah, yeah. But um, my thing is after five, I'm gonna sit back into my lap, gather a couple of breaths, and try and go for one more lap. So try and beat my last week's score. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Yeah, basically you wanna grab and move it around a little bit. Perfect. Now grab it up into your lap like a stone. Yep, hug around it, lock arms, lock wrists, and then stand up and there you go, walk. Get to the end, spin about, yeah. yep, and then just walk back. Oh, that face of misery. It's fine, it's like groceries. Groceries? Groceries. That's how you can carry a grocery yep. Alright, drop it. That's a nice warm up. That's all I can do. Yeah? I do like 10. Yeah? 10? 10? Tell my 15. 10? We could edit that later. <laughs> That sucks already. We got this. <laughs> First run, I'm literally gonna pick up and walk and try not to think about it. Link hands, there you go. Yep. Yep. Come on, baby. Just breathe in, out, in, out. There you go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. You can make it back. You can make it back. Let's go. Come on, baby. Move, feet, 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 feet. Come on, come on, come on. Keep moving, you're almost there. There you go. Oh, it's a rough one. <laughs> <laughs> that was the death by sandbag torture. Um, uh, relatively, everything is feeling good. Can't hear out of one year, but that's normal. Um, onto some bench press and some light accessories. We're gonna call it here for the video. Um, just to recap what we did over this past video was SSB squats, yoke, 
log, log, and then sandbags. So as always, if you uh, always if you did enjoy the contents of this video, found it entertaining. Blah, blah. So as always, if you did enjoy the, the uh, I can't speak, guys. So as always, if you do enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys had fun watching it. Special shout out to my little buddy here at the gym. You know who you are. We had a little chat today as we were do as I was doing log. So shout out to you. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. And uh, yeah, stay strong. And we'll see you guys next time. Boom.